The light is really good today. Well, I think so because it's sunny outside and there's good light coming in. So I figured I'd do another one of those um, books from my bookshelf. Um, instead of four, I have five. I'm pretty sure I have some other books by this author, but I'm also thinking that they may be on my Kindle or Nook. Hmm. They may be ebooks. I'm not sure. I may have some paperbacks um, somewhere of this this author. All I can tell you is that I don't hear much about this author and I love his books. So without further ado, let me show you what they let me show you what they are. So the first one I but and they're in no no particular order. Like they're not they're in no specific order. I think they're in order of let me see. I think I pulled them off my shelf. They're in order of size, of height of the book, because I try to do that a little bit. Okay, so the first one is Enchantment of the Fairy Realm, Communicate with Nature, Spirits, and Elementals by Ted Andrews. Oh my goodness, I love this book. Um, it's so, I find this author really approachable in terms of, I've, I've, been, I've been reading this author's book since like, way back I want to say way back um, let me check I'm pretty sure it was the 80s if not the 80s it was the 90s um, that I first um, this one this is a 1998 book um, but there were other books prior to this one and um, yeah I have those two so since there's the list here I'll tell you the ones that I'm not going to show you at the end because because I do have them I just don't know where they are and I also, so I really recommend this one. If you're, you know, whether, I don't even, like, I don't even know, right? You know, when you're, when you're brand new, everything, uh, I absorbed everything like a sponge. When I was brand new on my path, I loved reading everything. Um, now that I'm no longer new, there's certain things that I do like, I do love to revisit. And I still revisit this book and it's, it's beautiful. Um, I love the way the author, first of all, you know, he often has illustrations in his books. And I just love the way he makes things accessible. I just love it, love it, love it. And they're always like a, um, they're a quick read. You know what I mean? Like you don't get bogged down. Um, it's not too much information. It's not too little information. I really, I really love this one. I always recommend this one. So uh, I'm a Reiki master teacher. And um, when I start a new group, which I haven't in a little while, I haven't in a while, but when I do, I always rec, or if someone comes to see me and they say, hey, you know what? I feel the call to be a healer. Um, where do I start? You start by taking care of yourself. Uh, I love this book and I can't recommend it. Uh, you know, I, I cannot recommend it enough. Again, it's it's basically it's the healer's manual, a beginner's guide to the to energy healing for yourself and others. Um, I know someone that this is the only book that they have on this subject, and they're a tremendous healer. So you know what I mean. It's again, it's gem packed with information. It's ex uh, he makes it in he makes it ex in in excess. He makes it accessible and applicable and just wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. So yeah, love it. The next one, of course, because it's totally my jam, is The Inter Intercession of Spirits by Ted Andrews. And Working with Animals, Angels, and Ancestors. Um, this is a book I, do not, I did not um, hear anything about. I feel like I may have the only copy. I'm sure I'm sure it's out there. It's just that no one talks about it. And I love it. He um again, very accessible. And I'll read every child I'll read the back for this one. Um Every child knows the reality of the spirit world. Unfortunately, as children, we are often taught to deny it and ignore it. We are told it's imaginary. We are often socialized and shamed out of our awareness of its reality. But imagine if you had remained open to spirit throughout your life. 
how would it have changed who you are and how you live today? Imagine a childhood filled with presence of spirits, fairies, animals, angels, loving ancestors, and more, and yet you would be unable to speak of them knowing it would invite scorn and ridicule from family and friends. Imagine giving up the security of a good career to follow a new path in life, one guided by the spirit world, knowing that it defied logic and that family and friends would make jokes and look, and look for you to fail. Imagine if you opened fully to the reality of that world once more today, would it change your life for the better or make it more complicated? Would you have the heart to follow? There really is no way to avoid it. At some point in your life, you will have encounters with the spirit world. Well, what do they mean? What good, what good do they serve? The intercession of spirits has the answers. Using this, his own life experiences, Ted Andrews reveals the heartache and difficulties of working with spirit he also teaches the possibilities, wonder, and fulfillment that come from opening your heart and life fully to their intercession. Beautiful book. I did not look up to see if these are still in print. However, um, I'd be surprised if they weren't. Sorry. I'll, I'll prepare better next time. The next one also by Ted Andrews, Nature Speaks, Signs, Omens, and Messages in Nature beautiful beautiful I'm just showing you random pages because I love Ted Andrews books because I love the I love the way they're laid out they often have illustrations And this one is, um, nature speak is to the plant kingdom what animal speak and animal wise are to the animal kingdom. These are his other books. Learn to read signs and omens, interpret landscapes, find answers through nature, enhance spirit contact. Discover how nature speaks open, oh sorry, discover how nature speaks, punctuation. Open magic of the seasons, change climate of your life, empower your life. Explore the lessons and meanings of the plant kingdom through dictionaries of landscapes, tra trees, flowers, herbs, and more. Nature speak. And the last one, oh my goodness. Probably everybody has this book. Animal speak, the spiritual and magical powers of creatures great and small. So, you know, if you're uh, if you're into animal totems and animal spirits and all that stuff, this is the book. You need this book because, um, again, there's so much. And he, uh, very, he makes this information. It, it's just, his writing style is inviting, is what I want to say. Um, oh, yeah. This is not sponsored. These are just books on my bookshelf. Not sponsored, just obsessed. Okay. Um, and I paid for all these books, of course, but I thought I'd mention it. I thought I'd disclose that. So yeah, this one. So let me, the other books I have by Ted Andrews, um, are little paperbacks and I'm going to find that book where there's, I'm going to find a book where there's a list of it. Uh, I have how to heal with color, how to do psychic readings through touch. Um, how to meet and work with spirit guides, how to see and read the aura, and how to uncover your past lives. So how to uncover your past lives by Ted Andrews. I had the most profound experience with that book. Little, it was a little green paperback book that I bought in 1997. Yeah. And I did the exercise in the book and I think I did it also with a friend. I did the exercise in that book. Mind-blowing. I had a full-on past life regression. It was spontaneous. I was home alone. And it was like in three... It was, in, it was 3D. It was in three dimension. It was uh, virtual reality before I even knew what virtual reality was. So, yeah. Can't, can't recommend that book enough. If you can get your hands on uh, how to uncover your past lives, I think that's what it's called. Yeah, uh, how to uncover your past lives, highly recommend. It's uh, it's available. On, I'm pretty sure the ebook is available. It's um, 
it's a little it's a little paperback book like it's really really inexpensive but man was that effective so that's it um that was five books from my bookshelf my ted andrews books um do you do you read ted andrews do you have ted andrews books do you like them do you not like them please share in the comments below i'd love to hear your thoughts thank you and have a beautiful day bye, -bye.